Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jason who is not good at algorithms. Uh, in this video, I'm going to take a look at 145. It's about binary tree post order traversal. I think uh, I've done the uh, pre order, which is very simple both in recursion and iteration. And uh, in order is also done. Uh, the recursion is very easy. And uh, the iteration is might uh, might need a little tweak and uh, still we've finished it. Now it's about post order. So let's take a look. The example here is not that, uh, uh, I'll say general. Let's con construct a more general, general one, general tree. One, two, three, uh, four, five. Uh, okay, for, some, for a, a tree like this, we need to do post order. So. When we made a root, we first handle its left and right. When we handle this, we handle this four, five, two, three, one. So right, four, five, two, and then two, three, one. Remember, for a tree traversal, oh, there will be I think it will be two phase. The first one is walk and then collect. Right, walk, process, walk, process. For the uh, pre-order, walk, 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 walk. So walk process will be the same so we we, we will collect the result while we're walking walk one and then collect okay put this one in the final result and then go to two collect it and go to four and then collect it and then next one is five something like this well in, in order travel so it's a little different uh we walk uh on one but we cannot collect one right now because it's in the middle order we need to handle two first. When you walk on two, still we cannot do it because the two might have a left shot, right? So we will actually walk straight to the most left node child and step on four. Now there is no left node, so we can start because either in in order, in order is two one three, the post order is two three one, two is always the start. So four. Now we stop walking and now and collect the result, right? We pop and uh, we collect four. Now we go back to two. So two actually will be traversed twice. Like I walked one, two, four, and then go back to two. Now there is a, and uh, this two actually has a right child. So we walk on two, I uh, will walk on four, uh, five. If five has left child, we will still walk on the most left child and continue. So uh, when it's handled, now five, is is uh is processed and be popped and then we we can go back go directly to one right so one two four two five uh one two is a stepped on twice but to collect on the second one five uh for, for the tree here we walk on it and then there's nothing so we collect it and walk collect and then collect one one but what one is stepped at the beginning so this is our solution for in order. So how do we do about post order? You see, for the post order, there is the same thing uh, with uh, in order, which is the the left child. Left child starts first. So two, we, uh, just as in order, we need to step on one and then step on two and step on four. So now we start uh, collecting four, uh, collecting four, right? If four doesn't have the right child then four could be collected. But if there is a left child, right child, like uh, here, we can do is uh, like, uh, we can just remove four, change it to null, and it's something like this. Okay, for two, uh, it doesn't have left child, but it has right child, right? So as a post order, we need to process five first. So one, two, step on two, and then we process two, but find that five has a uh, two, have five as a right child, so we need what? We need to walk on five first, right? And process five and then go back to two. So it's like a three times, right? One, two, and then process two, and then find two has a five. Now walk on five and then nothing. So process five and then process two. Uh, then walk, uh, the walk, on two, walk to two and process. If there is, mm, let's make it more clear. Uh, one, two, no, four. 
then this is a uh, six. Ah, no. six. Yeah, something like this. So step on one, okay, find two, step on two, uh, find four, step on four, find nothing, process four, remove it, and now uh, walk on two, uh, go back on walk, is this walk? No, process two, is this walk? Mm, yeah, I think, uh, let's tr just treat them all as walk. Walk on one, walk on two, and then walk on four, process it, and then go to two, Walk on two, and highness right. So we need to process this part first. So walk on five, walk on six, process on six, walk on five, and then process five. And then we need to process two, right? It means collect two, and then process one. A walk on one, and I found that there is three. So we need to process three first. So here's a problem. You see, we walk on, we go one, two, four, and two five and then go back to two one. So this is the this is the this is the the root, right? How can we differentiate different differentiate uh, the, the the second second round of sped stepping on two and the third one? I mean for the first first push, like one to four, it's okay. There's a wide loop we can do that. We go straight for two go to straight four and then we can there is no need to process any node. And then when we process it, work on two, we go to five. And then when we come back from five to two, we need to know that we, we, we cannot just, and we check two, we cannot step on five again. We need to separate that, right? So we need a flag to keep track of whether when we process a node, it's the second time or the third time, uh, the, uh, uh, the first time or the second time. The first time, okay, we, we will process the right child, but for the third time, for, for the second time, we will not. We will just uh, process it and go to the parent node, right? That's the that's the that that's the key point of uh, post order travel tool. I hope I make it clear. Maybe not. Okay. The first solution, of course, it's a uh, recursion, right? Let's try to create a walk and with a node as parameter. Okay. We need an array of the values. We pass 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 it as a a parameter this is result return walk root empty if node is null we do nothing return empty and and then we need to pro walk on um, the, the the left first right so we walk node left first and then when left is walked, we go to walk right result. And then we will uh, put result push move back. So mm, this is it. I think we're done. Oh, don't forget to return result. Cool. So this is a recursion. I think it should work. It's very simple. Yeah. Uh, the time. Every node is traversed once. Space. The call stack, right? The depth of the tree. Height, I think. Okay. This is very simple. No one expect this. We need to rewrite it into a, a duration. Well, as we said before, we will use a stack, just as in node traversal. So. so, for this stack, there will be two, uh, one option. Uh, uh, we will create a push stack. That means we walk on some node, right? We put some node into the stack. This is uh, gonna be a, a while loop. So, while we just keep push. The left, uh, the, the nodes, left node to the stack. So, 
So for the initial case would be we push stack root. Okay. If let's just first filter the null case out. Okay, now for our for our test case here, now when we call the push stack root, it will be two, three, four. So four, one, one, two, four, one, two, four, two, three, four. Mm. I'm confusing. One, two, four is in the stack, right? So now we there is no left child, so we start processing processing uh, four. Okay, this process will be done in a while loop. We don't we don't pop it now because we we know if it has a right child, we need to process that first. So we don't pop it now. We first check the top. If what if it has doesn't have right child. If it doesn't have it, then it's something like four. Okay, we can just pop it. So result will be push. Now, and then stack and pop. Cool. Now, if it has right child, if it has a right child, if it has right child, we need to process that process uh, the right child uh, uh, first, right? So we push what? We push stack top. Right, but here's a problem. If the write is processed, when everything is, when it go back to two, this actually will be, uh, be check, be triggered once more. So what we do, as we did before, uh, for uh, BFS, we we sometimes add a null at the end as an ending uh, ending identifier, right? So maybe we can do do uh do the same here. So. Uh, add null as an identifier means it is traversed, it is processed, okay, processed already. We do what? We stack, we push a null. Okay, now, now we push the right end. Right? Okay, for, so here we go to two, we push an n more in the stack, so the stack will be one, two, more. And then push five, and then push six. And now we process six, so it become uh, two, four, six, and then go to five, there's no right child, we, we collect it and pop it, and so two, six, a uh, six, uh, uh, four, six, five, and then go to two again. Uh, no, not again. But now we get null first, right? So we so we need to handle we need to handle a null case. If top equals to null, what what does it mean? It means the next one is already a Travis. Yeah, so what do you do? It's already traversed. So we when the null the null is here, null, and then we go to two, we just uh, pop it, right? Okay, we pop first pop the null, which is stack pop the null and then the top equals not top, okay. Uh, the node equals stack pop again, we pop the node. So with this, we can avoid entering this else again. So what do we do? We collect the result. Result uh, push node val. And yeah, that's all. So now we go to null, right? We get null. And now we pop two out. And then go to next one. We see one. 
and then check out a 3. So we add a null, 3, parse a 3, check null, so we pop 1. Yeah, so that's all for this one. Let's try to return the result. Mm -hmm. We get the wrong answer. Um, let's see what happens. This one is 4, should be 4, 4, 6, 5, 4, 6, 5, mm -hmm. we got 4, 2, 1. Really? We push stack. We... Ah! God, I should have compared to Nua. Wow. Stupid mistake. Eh? Wait a minute. Okay, we... This is that top. We pop it. If it's Nua, we pop it and pop next one. Push the bow. Okay. If it is uh, not Nua, the right is not Nua. Mm-hmm. Ah, it is new. Man, I'm so stupid. Cool. Submit. Yeah, we're accepted. So the, let's try to analyze the time space. Time, of course, is linear. Uh, space, we use a stack. This stack, actually, the maximum will be uh, the, 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 yeah, actually, the height of the tree. So maximum is this, 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 right? Yeah, so so it's still worse linear. Okay, so that's all for this one. We've already done the in order, pre order, uh, host order. Actually, the post order is the mac the the difficult one. We need to actually need to add a ending identifier to mark the node to prevent uh, the second time traversal. So yeah, but the idea is simple. We create a push stack, we continue pushing the left node and process it, use a while loop and check the top node, what's the characteristic of this node and do this if clause. So, and for post order travel, so there will be, there is a lot, a lot of implementations. This is, m mine is just one of them. Please search on the internet for a detailed explanation. I think you can just find the, the, the one that you feel uh, the most comfortable with. So for this one, I'm comfortable, comfortable, comfortable with this implementation. So I can explain it uh, a little better than the others. Yeah, that's all for this one. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.